It's harvest time in Brazil. From now until September, these coffee pickers will spend their days in the fields bagging up their bounty. But the bounty isn't as fruitful as in recent years. A drought during the rainy season has had a big effect on this year's crop. There wasn't enough water to keep the plants healthy, says farmer Diogo, and it's led to the loss of fruit. There's no way back. It's all shriveled and dry. There's nothing inside. It's not just a problem of damaged beans. This year's drought has had a financial impact too. Brazil accounts for a third of the world's coffee production, and these fields are full of Arabica coffee beans, which is the most popular bean, the price of which has doubled since late last year. While the focus is on this year's harvest, there are concerns about next year's too. A lack of water has stunted the growth of younger bushes. Farmers are worried that could mean smaller and fewer beans when it comes to harvesting next year. But despite higher prices, there's still not a supply problem in the coffee market yet. Producers have been selling their stocks from previous years to keep prices stable. And many big coffee buyers have locked in lower prices. But, says this coffee exporter, that won't last. You protect yourself for a few months. And the several roasters, they bought their needs back some time ago. But now they are covering the future, and the future is not the same. It's unavoidable that you are going to pay more for your coffee in the few coming months. That's unavoidable. For now, though, the priority is to get the beans that have survived the drought to market. The price of a cappuccino is not on producers' minds. Katie Watson, BBC News, in Espiritu Santo do Pinhal.